Yeah, I want to thank everyone, particularly the community here in uh, Kalihi Valley, for coming together for, I think, a very positive announcement. As you know, we stand on Cam 4 Road, a heavily, heavily used road um, between two great schools, Dole Intermediate, where we're standing, and Kaivai Elementary up Malka of us. We have many crosswalks crossing this road. Um, no lights, a lot of kids, and we got a district park right in between heavily used by this community. And we've heard loud and clear from the community um, about more needs to be done for pedestrian safety, for bicyclists who ride, and those who drive too. And both the state and the city have passed complete streets uh, legislation, making sure that we go forward and implement safer streets for everyone. And that means for walkers, for bike riders, for drivers, and just for everyone in our community. And we're going to be making an initiative here. Initially, we were going to just repave this street. It's one of our initiatives to pave 300 lane miles every year. Um, and what we've decided is instead of doing just a standard repaving, we're going to try something different. And it came out of the community. It came out of the schools. It came out of the neighborhood board here. It came out of um, Kalih Kokua, Kalihi Valley. It came out of the Bicycling League. And so what we're going to be doing is instead of having four lanes of traffic, we're going to have two lanes of traffic. And we're going to have a middle lane that's going to be for turning left or turning for turning left, going Malka or Makai. And this is to make sure that people drive a little slower and a little more carefully. And then on both sides of the road, we're going to have a striped bike lane in both directions so people can ride. It's going to be a really clear white line so people know this is for bikers this is for drivers this is for folks who are going to turn left and then we got the sidewalks and we believe if we do all of this we're going to be able to reverse the tragedy that we've seen on this island of people getting hurt in the past five or six years there's been numerous vehicle accidents on on this cam four road and accidents involving pedestrians more than what we'd like to accept and we're going to do something about it so I wanted to thank the community who are standing here today to, to stepping forward and getting us to try something different, to continue with our Complete Streets effort that we did in places like Ulune, like we did in uh, Kaimuki on Wailai Avenue, and now here on Cam 4 Road. With that, I would like um, our representative, Joy Monahan, who at his OMPO meeting couldn't make it, but his friend, his, um, Staffer Dennis Arakaki is here. We'd like Dennis to say a few words. He lives in this area, and Dennis, step forward and come say a few words for all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I've lived in this community for over 50 years, and I traveled this road up and down every day of the week. And uh, I can say that, you know, we're really grateful for the mayor and the council member for really initiating this and uh, getting the support from the community and listening to the community for what the real needs are, because this is a residential area. And I think for the children and for the kapuna, it's gonna be of great benefit to them. So uh, thank you, Mayor, for acting so quickly and for listening to the people of the community. Mahalo. Thank you, Dennis. Um, as I mentioned, this is also an initiative that was pushed by our neighborhood board. It was brought to us, we call it context decisions, and we'd like the neighborhood board rep to come on forward and, and say a few words too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aloha. I uh, wanted to thank Mayor Caldwell first and foremost. Uh, this is a testament to the neighborhood neighborhood board system. Uh, I'd like to challenge all the other board chairs across the island to look at these complete street initiatives and actually try to push forward in their neighborhoods. Uh, this is a, a wonderful initiative that's that's kind of been overlooked. It really starts in the community. So this initiative, what we're doing here today, really is a testament to the community coming together, community organizations coming together, uh, government leaders and government representatives coming together and really pushing forward, finding uh, concessions and compromise to do what's, what's beyond its time now. So I want to thank you again, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. So this is Chris Wong who just spoke. Next. Next, I think we should hear from these young adults. If you'd like to say a, word, a few words, no pressure. I am so happy that um, everyone will come together and make our own bike, bike route and make this place much safer. I'm also happy because whenever, if, if 
Bikers will come. Sometimes they will get hurt on the road or something. I'm so glad that we could have lanes for bikers so they don't get hurt that much. Fantastic. We'd like to hear from two groups that are very critical to making our streets safer. One is HPD. As you know, the, the police department has initiated a, a new program, a reinitiative program. Last week, they were out on the streets on King Street to try to get people to be careful, both those who use our crosswalks and those who drive in. Would it be okay if one of the officers would like to say a few words? No pressure, but it'd be great. <laughs> Good morning, everyone uh, from the Honolulu Police Department. We just want to make sure that we'll do our part to ensure vehicular safety, pedestrian safety, and also bicycle safety. So everybody out there, please drive carefully. Give everybody equal chance on the road, and we'll have a safe community. Thank you. The other person who gets involved is EMS, as you know, those who are paramedics and, and the personnel who really save lives every day have to do with the tragedies of our streets. And with that, I'd like, Shane, would you like to say a few words, please? Okay. Basically for us, if this project saves one life, it has done its job. That's w what we want to do. We want to prevent injuries and we want to pre prevent death. So uh, we're very grateful to everyone who had a hand in this job. Thank you, Shane. Next, we'd like someone to say something from uh, the Bicycling League. Who would like to? We have a Chad. number of people here. Chad, you want to say a yeah. few words? Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mayor and City, for doing this. We know people in the community, from children to kupuna to everybody in the middle, want a safer place to walk and bike and just, you know, travel. So thank you for listening, and thank you for doing a great job on Complete Streets, Mayor. Thank you, Chad. Appreciate it. Um, AARP is someone who is very concerned. As you know, we hold uh, the, the, the unwelcome distinction of having more seniors hit in crosswalks than any other major city in the country. AARP has been leading the charge to try to reduce this. I'd like come, Jackie, if you could come up and say a few words. Thank you. Hi, good morning. Um, AARP has always supported Complete Streets as a way of ensuring that our roads are designed to benefit all users, drivers, pedestrians, bicycles, and people with disabilities. The design that's being proposed here today is excellent. We're excited about it, and it's a great opportunity um, for the mayor to show just how responsive the city has been to people who want to make this an age-friendly city. So we're really grateful, and we appreciate all the community support. Thank you. And Jackie, by the way, age friendly doesn't just mean seniors, it means kids like this too. Exactly. It's for everyone yep. from 8 to 80. Okay, Kokua Kalihi Valley. Who wants to speak from Kokua Kalihi Valley? Both, don't be shy. Maybe you both come up and say a word. Come, go ahead. Taking steps to make our community more active and healthy is something that we support at Kokua Kalihi Valley and we continue to do. Thank you. His, his kids are great. You know, these are young adults who could be getting into trouble, but they're in. Re, Re rebuilding bikes and then earning a bike. But when I see them around town, they say, Mayor, we need to do something on Cam 4 Road. And so we're, we hear their voice and we're responding. Good morning, my name is Tanya Hall, Vice Principal of Dole Middle School. And on behalf of Dole Middle School, we just want to thank Mayor and the community for working together because it's going to make it much safer for our children crossing the road. Instead of crossing four lanes, they now only have to cross two lanes. And majority of our kids do come from Kamehameha 4 housing, and they do have to cross the street to get to school. So thank you for the community. It's just a great testimony to students on how everybody works together to make something better out of it. So thank you, Mayor. Hey, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. I wanted Mike Formby at the Department of Transportation Services to come up and just talk about how this initiative came about. I just want to say, you know, there's really no one that's better qualified to tell the city whether a street is safe than the community. The people that live on the street, the schools, the businesses, and the people that use it. So I want to thank the mayor because in this situation, the repaving project was already programmed. The community came forward and the mayor said, time out, let's get together, let's huddle and let's figure out whether we can rethink the striping of this street, and he did that. And it meant the city had to take a step back before it could move forward. So thank you, Mayor. That's what the ordinance is all about. It's about context-sensitive solution, and he lived up to the ordinance. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. And then finally, bike share. You see these two great bikes here. We want 
the folks who brought him here to come and say words. One is Laurie McCarney and and Ben Trudeau. and where's Ben? Right ben, 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 come on up here. All right, the two of you, go ahead. Good morning, Lori and I, or Ben and I. <laughs> I know who I am. Ben and I are very proud to be part of Bike Share Hawaii, a nonprofit set up to bring bike sharing to Hawaii. Bike sharing is something that's in 60 cities across the country, but not yet in Honolulu or Hawaii. And what we've seen in those other cities is it helps accelerate uh, complete streets because it gives a convenient and affordable option to uh, people who uh, now are using their cars. So anyway, we're excited to be here. We appreciate support. We have two bikes here that are visiting us on vacation, we say. One from Seattle and one from New York, both who have instituted very successful bike share programs. So Ben, do you want to add anything? I want to thank the mayor for, for having this, for supporting bicycling all throughout the city. And I just want to say Bike Share Hawaii's vision is to make cycling viable for for everyone, not just people that consider themselves cyclists. And a big part of that is safety. So the project that's happening here, uh, the road diet, is a huge part of what will make uh, our community safer for, for 8 to 80, for all ages. So thank you. Thank you, Mayor, and right. thank you, everyone here. Thank you. Thanks, Lori. Hey. OK, did we leave anyone out who wants to say a word or two? Because you're more than welcome. No? All right. Thanks.